And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Anivia Tribal. This is our next meme tier Monday deck. This is actually a deck that I've played a decent amount, but I haven't played it in, you know, over a month probably. Um, you know, definitely haven't played it since the next set, the last set uh, that was released. But basically what we're doing is we're trying to get multiple Anivias in play, and we're just going to be winning by attacking with these undying Anivias that just keep on coming back. You know, like last breath, we get the Agnivias, and then they come back. And we just attack over and over and win like that. But you really don't see Anivias anywhere um, in the metagame, and so that's why it's part of our meme tier Monday stream today. So we have like rekindle we have the rekindler to be able to bring back Anivia whenever it dies. We have a Spectral Matron, if you don't know this card, whenever you play, you pick an ally in hand, so we'll pick Anivia, and you summon an exact copy of it. It's Ephemeral, but the, eph the whole Ephemeral thing doesn't matter because Anivia will die with the Ephemeral, but it just turns into the Egg Nivia because of the last breath, and then it will come back reborn the next turn. Same thing, Chronicler of Ruin is perfect with Anivia. You get to kill your Anivia, then revive it, but you still have your original Egg Nivia. So this actually gets you just a free Anivia when you have that. Uh, got one Miss Call that can revive it and bring it back. And also a Splinter Soul. Make it, you know, get a copy of one, make it a 1 1. We got one Entreat to be able to help us draw Anivia, because we're going to have to be able to draw it. And then the, the only like new card that I have in here is Sapling Toss at the one mana slot. I, I feel like this could be a really good card in here. And maybe this is like just a card that like these War Mother call decks, like this could actually be a great card in War Mother's Call, like thinking about it. Because, you know, well, I was putting this together today and I was just kind of browsing through all the cards, you know, seeing if there's anything, you know, new or just anything I want to put in here. Came across Sapling Toss. I think this card's actually just perfect for this. So yeah, because it's one mana, it gets you a 2-1 Ephemeral Challenger. So it's kind of like a, it's a cheap removal spell at one mana um, that, you know, lets, yeah, lets you have like a, a removal spell, you know, with that Challenger and everything. And one mana is key because we have all of these spells that cost five mana. So if we don't do anything on turn one or turn two, on turn three, we really want to be casting these, fi these five mana cards, especially Catalyst of Aeons. So you, you want to pair a one mana card with Catalyst of Aeons because you can still play a one mana card, do nothing on turn two, and on turn three have Catalyst of Aeons. But the one mana cards aren't that great. Sapling Toss seems perfect for the one mana slot for the Catalyst of Aeons decks to be just a removal spell. The other thing that's great about this, as opposed to like Hapless Aristocrat, um, this doesn't affect this deck. But when you're thinking about your War Mother's Call decks, like you don't want to be War Mother's Call and getting Hapless Aristocrat, right? You want to have like your big awesome stuff with War Mother's Call. Well, if you just have, like, that's why Sapling Toss is great. It's not, you know, it's not actually an ally to get in play with War Mother's Call. I feel like this could be awesome in these Callous Veilon decks. I'll have to try that out some more. Anyway, that's, uh, that's just like a new card that I'm excited about. But anyway, let's let's uh, get to it. Let's play some Anivia Tribal. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked, like we always do. Um, let's go with Gloomtooth. No, we'll go Bailey. All right, here we go. Yeah, Splinter Soul is an interesting card. It's it's of course slow. You, people can respond to it with removal. I do think that Demacia in general, like Demacia curve out would be really tough for this deck to beat that we're playing right now. This is definitely not one of like the best decks that we're playing. But hopefully we get a three and two, that's the goal. Especially in Masters rank. Uh, no, no changes in the ranking system. Maokai Nautilus. Don't you love whenever you mulligan two cards and you immediately draw them again? No demotion right now. No, there, like there will be a demotion in rank whenever the next uh, 
uh, whenever the season ends, which I think will be the end of June, I believe. I believe it's going to be every two months, so like the end of June there will be a kind of a, a rankings reset. Nivia. Corruption everywhere. So we already got seven of those. Which means we can already play Anivia. safe to play Anivia right now? The answer is probably. Hopefully. Okay, climbed Masters with Slotbot. Nice. Slotbot is looking, definitely looking better. So I have 11 mana, so I can cast either Whale or Catalyst, and then, yeah, either Whale or Grasp, but then Catalyst. This block was probably just dumb. Or, like, this attack, I mean, it's probably dumb. Okay. We'll see, though. Rend the skies. Oh, no. Devour of the Depths? Oh, I forgot about that card. See, I was thinking even if they killed it, because like right now we're at 8 mana gems, so I was going to be able to Catalyst of Aeons and go to 10, and we would get Anivia back. Ugh. Devour of the Depths. Why is that a card? Oh, yeah, should I just Vile Feast my Anivia? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I would have forced them to have something else. A vile Feast to Nivea. Would have forced them to have another removal spell. I wouldn't, I would not have, you know, it would not have been 10. It would not have come back. It would have been a 0 2 this turn, but it would have forced them to have another thing to kill. An O2. Pretty dead. We pretty dead. Yeah, I, th I think this is gonna be. I think this. Is, I think if we play this this matchup a whole lot, we would probably win. You know, like twenty out of a hundred times, probably. Maybe 25 out of 100. Like, I think this is going to be... This would just be a horrible matchup for us. 
sure our withering whales are really bad vile feast really i mean we sure we didn't draw perfectly i didn't play perfectly either but i, I don't think this is really a matchup we're winning very often Our deck's trying to be like the top end deck, but they have a lot better top end. It's so, like our strategy is getting trumped. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Grow tall, grow strong. All of my Anivias are gone, obliterated. It's also they have, they, they do have like that really good trump of being able to obliterate stuff. That's unfortunate. Yep, GG's. It's all good, we'll go to the next one. Hope to not get paired against any more deep decks. Don't love uh, Brood Awakening against Twisted Fate. Nothing escapes my watch. I'm guessing they have Black Market Merchant. Oh, Jagged Butcher. Let's get to it. Ready the torches. And then we'll just finish that out with a Vile Feast. Alert the villains. Don't need a Sapling Toss right now. Fortune favors the bold. They're just playing that to trigger Gangplank. That's it. They just want to trigger Gangplank. All right, let's see. Taking a Nivea. I don't really see the upside of playing Brood Awakening right now. Fresh out of mercy. Love ya. A storm. 
storm approaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could splinter soul this, but it would just be the O2. If we had if we were gonna have 10 mana, then splintering soul splinter souling that would make more sense. We are going to hopefully have two of these to attack with this next turn. Two Anivias. Ooh. Rekindler. Alright, so we're gonna go Chronicler of Ruin. Get a new Anivia. And now we're gonna miss call. Get a new Anivia. Something goes wrong. We do have the Splinter Soul as backup. Well, we whiffed on the RNG. But we got another Nivea. So it's all good. I know what I'm doing. Credit denied. That's what our deck's about. Anivia Tribal. It's all Anivias. 50-50 shot. If we would have hit it, we could have had three Anivias right now. That would have been great. Okay, I got another Nivea in hand. Safety will cost you. Return to us. Return to us. Opponent surrendered. There we go. That's what our deck's all about. Until our paths cross that is exactly what our deck's all about. All in Nivea. All day. All right, GG's. There we go. <laughs> Call that episode two, The Clone Wars. Alright, what we got? Matron gone. Oh, Vi Fiora. I know this is gonna this is gonna be a tough matchup. Kinda go too big. So this is this is weird. Like I, I think we mulligan Anivia. Look for our ramp. Yuck. Yeah, I think, I think our toughest matchup, like, the deep deck is going to be the toughest possible matchup, and I think this is probably our second toughest matchup, is Demacia Curve Out. Their things are just too big. Nothing escapes my watch. Batter him! Ready the torches! I was gonna vile feast this, but of course weirding stones is just a better play. Now if they just play Bannerman, I don't get to vile feast it.
I was afraid of that. For how they how they were setting there with the one mana previously, really were kind of showing that they had that card. Definitely afraid of that. Why I didn't go with the Vile, which why I didn't go with the Withering Whale. Decided to go Vile Feast plus this 2 1. Alright, don't need to play that yet. Let's just bank this mana. I feel really bad if they play a Bannerman. Like if I do something else first and then they play Bannerman and grow those. Come on. They get to go straight to attacks again. It's their attack turn. Time to get rowdy. Mark it down as a loss yet. No, it sure feels like it. Game's still going on. Smell that? A fight to cook it. These are both burst speed. I can't I can't fake either one. I wanted to like put one out here and fake it and then bring it back. But they're both burst speed, I can't do that. Ruination the next turn, that was my plan. I just had a wonderful hand. Alright, Karma Ezreal. Look for ramp. Come on, ramp. Catalyst of Aeons. No ramp. Uh, the patch is there. That's the new patch. Nothing escapes my wall.
Safeguard our homes. Get him, Avaros and Sentry. We need those Shen buffs. Oh, I should just cast them both. I don't get another action. Okay, cool. Cool, they did something for me. So, two for Ezreal. Catalyst! Three for Ezreal. Master. All right, we gotta find a Nivea. Can't, can't wait till we find a Nivea. Rummaging away the mushroom clouds. It's pretty powerful. Lock. Cool. Thanks for letting me block. Light the signal fires. Rain from a cloudless sky. Hmm. That could be bad. We just need an Anivia. Where are you at, Anivia? Where are you at? So I don't want to cast like the grasp here and then they play Karma. Guess we don't have to. You can just draw a Nivea. Time to draw an Ivia. Because basically, what we what we would do is we'd play the the matron to put it in Ivia in hand, and it would kill it. And, you know, so then rekindle it would be able to bring it back. And of course, we would chronicler of ruin it later as well. Yeah, you don't 
yeah, the, that's the problem with playing Thresh is that, yeah, then if Thresh dies, then Rekindler brings back Thresh. And sure, if you level up Thresh, Thresh can pull Anivia, but you'd have to level up Thresh, and that's not easy to do. But we are playing the Entreat to help us. Find it. I'm so good, I surprise myself. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. With like a dead Anivia, Matron putting in Rekindler is pretty awesome also. Um, yeah, I mean, you could play Elise. I don't... I don't think it's really worth it, though. You said an Elise package would help you survive. It'd survive against what? The, the decks that are beating us are not decks that Elise helps you survive against, like Demacia. Elise isn't really helping that too much. Like deep decks, like Elise isn't doing anything at all. And then like Ezreal, Karma, Ezreal combo. The answer lies within. The, like Elise is good against the hyper aggro decks, but those are good matchups, like the, the aggro decks. We have a lot of good stuff for, for the hyper acro already. So basically what Elise does is not what our weakness is. All right, hopefully we get this one. Aggro matchup. Still gonna have to draw pretty well. Hmm. Pretty good mulligan. Could get a couple seven drops. No, the deep decks are the hardest matchup. Karma Ezreal is a terrible matchup too because of like the combo finish of Ezreal, because our, our deck takes a long time to win. But yeah, we, you've seen some of the, the roughest matchups for sure. Not many people are playing Ezreal anymore, which is why I thought it would be cool to bring this back, but we did face an Ezreal opponent. Like, you'd rather be facing uh, like Lux and Vi and stuff like that. My shield is yours. Then Ezreal. Obviously, you don't want Rekindler before Anivia is dead. So, not necessarily the card you want to be mulliganing and then drawing a bunch of. In Avarosa's name. All right, let's mess some folks up. They're out there. I'll spot them. Yay! The most important cards to have right away are like Catalyst of Aeons to Ram. Here we go. Look out for Reavers. It's. I'm playing the one entreat. Definitely possible I should be playing two entreats because obviously you you have to draw Anivia before your deck does anything. Gets 
That guard did a lot of damage. I think attacks for eight. Protect and strike. Alert the villains. Oh, we did no ramp this game. It means that we're a little slow, of course. This kind of deck will, like, this will be better after the new patch. The Grizzled Ranger is amazing. Making Grizzled Ranger worse would certainly help this deck. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Down to four. Look out for Reavers. Ready the torches. That's unfortunate. Drawing our avalanches and catalyst of aeons in the late game, the cards that we really want early on. Alright, so it turns out Grizzled Ranger, tough card to beat. We lost twice to Grizzled Rangers. You know, multiple Grizzled Rangers. And, uh, yeah, Ezreal combo, the deep going big. So this isn't one of the best decks, but the new patch will definitely help it out. Um, we didn't have the best hands either. We had a couple of those games. Like we um, did, not, did not have the best hands. You know, ideally, you know, we're playing Catalyst on turn three, you know, or Avalanche, you know, like getting those things in. Those are two cards that I'm always looking for when I'm mulliganing. Uh, except for, you know, Avalanche, if we're playing against Control, then we, you know, don't keep it. We didn't really do too much with Sapling Toss. It was, you know, so we just, we didn't really do very much with it. Um, it's, it's definitely better against, uh, like, the smaller creatures, like... Like, I feel like this deck could be pretty good against Bilgewater, for example. Especially if Bilgewater gets bigger after these after these updates. I feel like this is a, a really good deck against Bilgewater. Like, Sapling Toss, Killing, Twisted Fate, Killing, like, they have all sorts of, like, 2-2s two that this kills. Same with Avalanche. Clears up a whole bunch of stuff. They take your non-champions and help you find Anivia, like, whenever they're stealing cards. You just dig towards Anivia. Ruination is, like, our important card against Demacia. We played against... Demacia twice didn't have it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there we go.
That's Anivia Treble. All right, that's our other meme tier Monday deck for today. Our next one, we do have a we have a donation deck later. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, leave those comments. Let me know what do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday. What do you want to see me play on Wednesday and Thursday right after the patch updates? What are you excited to see? Let me know. And, uh, you know, I'll play it. I need your ideas. All right, but that's it here for Nivea Tribal. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.